Um, hi, everyone. I'm pleasure to uh, be here to present today to introduce our girls' work in this USDA project, in particular the CAP dashboard. So, why do we build? <coughs> sorry, why do we build this dashboard? Um, the main purpose is we want to support better decision making. As just you see, uh, introduced by Mart, we were using every to do animal tracking, but um, you know, we always want to have our own tools, we, which can uh, we can customize to match whatever the need to be. That's a mo motivation we had in the beginning. So um, basically we want to have farmers and researchers to plan animal feedings, and we want to check animal and see where they are. Also, um, we want to monitor what happened if there is any abnormal behaviors of animals and to be alerted as soon as possible. Besides, we want to maintain a reliable record of the entire breeding cycle. If we can do this, we can improve the efficiency. Basically, we use few human efforts to ma manage the whole rangeland. Moreover, we can improve profitability by driving improved outcomes and, and avoiding potential loss by timing a long detection. When we can maintain a better breeding cycle, we can sustain a better range, rancher ecosystem. You can see this is our uh, dashboard, the whole environment. The, the platform uses an IoT infra infrastructure that includes the field sensor here and accelerometer sensors, GPS sensors uh, that mounted on animals. And those sensors gather a large amount of critical data, like location, accelerate data, and then uh, we have this sensor data. This, sensor, this then, uh, data will be sent into internet tower and the internet tower will send data back to the server. And then um, the, the server also keeps other environment, environment information such as weather data, and, uh, feed and water consumption of animals. And um, all of the data will be integrated into, into uh, our database. And after all data are stored, um, we, we um, are expert to design algorithms and calculate uh, statistics, analyze, um, analyze them and show the statistic, statistical result to dashboard users. In future work, we will also leverage machine learning techniques to generate more advanced report. And all will be present in an user-friendly manner uh, to in our dashboard. And now I want to let you um, look at the short video that recorded by our group to go through our dashboard quickly. I hope it will help you get a brief understanding about the dashboard. So this is our CAP dashboard yes. login slash landing page that you will come up with your credentials. You'll sign in and go into your homepage. You can see that the, our homepage is icon based. You can set different icons, which will guide the users to the right places. So for example, you can manage the ranchers. You can go here, you can add a rancher, you can edit the ranchers. For example, if you want to go ahead and add a rancher, you will come up with the time zones. So you can set it up, which will help us providing you with the visual, right visualization based on your time zones. So you can add your ranchers from here. You can also manage the cattle from there. So you can add cows and which will uh, later be automated from the CSV files or other data formats. So this is, uh, you can also edit the, the profile of the cows. You can go into the monitoring, which will help you 
see where your cattles are. We want this to be real time. That's our current goal. So you can also change it to the satellite views. You can see your cows in real time. You can go for the tracking and you can track your cows and that could be like a, 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 one single cow could have multiple tags that there may are maybe exchange or change for some reason. So you can see their, their activity, their change of their paths. And also you can change other things as well on the maps. You can go into the activity count as well, which will help us visualizing the change of the behavior based on the, their tracking systems. You can see different uh, activity count of the cows based on their IDs. You can change their IDs, see what kind of activity count they're doing. You can also do the searching. Uh, for example, if we want to see what are changed, you can do that. And also you can, you can click on the visualization to see what is happening with your cattle. Or the, what are the changing of their activities in here? You should have an idea about the big picture of our dashboard now. In the few, uh, following slide, I will quickly uh, clarify several more important features. As you have seen uh, in the video, we have a set uh, satellite map with recorded cows displayed on it. You can see clearly where the cows are currently located and you can track movement pathways by selecting time slots and uh, cow IDs. While sometimes the data might be wrong. For example, if a cow suddenly moved from one point to somewhere far away, the data has higher probability to be wrong. In that case, um, we, we need to take some action to deal with that. That normally happens when the sensor is out of power or the gateway has some problems. So it's critical to handle this type of bad data. In our practice, we use um, methods such as C-score and IQR to detect outlier points. You can see the red crosses here. Um, outliers we detected based on some threshold. And the, um, the other important feature of the dashboard is analysis. At the first step here, we are showing how many activities that recorded from the one selected cow for every one minute. Uh, so you may ask, what does the activity Data mean in words, the activity data is sent by sensors uh, that encrypt, uh, encrypted um, on calls. Um, the sensor company embedded an internal algorithm to decide the activity of the animal. We don't have a detailed information about the algorithm so far. However, the general idea is. When the cow is intensively working or slowly stop, there is a higher value of that activity data. You can imagine that is associated with accelerator value. 